In this tutorial, I'm going to go over something very straightforward and simple. Um, it's, a mo it's a common issue that many of us may have encountered, and that is positioning inland block elements right next to each other. So before we get started, I'm going to explain the layout of this document. So I have XAMPP running in the background. You can use LAMP if you prefer. Um, I have an index page, which is what you're seeing right now. And then I have a CSS folder, which contains the styling for this page. As you can see, it's being linked in. If you want to, I'll quickly go over the index.css file. The index.css file has a container. It has a, a container that has a width of 80% of the viewport, or the window actually. And has a background color that is blue. And it's uh, centered in the middle of the page with a margin on top of 30 pixels. And then within the container, we have our inline block elements. I created a class called sections, and I styled them accordingly. Most importantly, I made them display inline block. Next, I created um, four IDs for each inline block element. This is just so I can very uh, distinguish between each section based on color, and it makes it easier for you guys to see. So what we have right now is this. So you can see that what we want is to align four inline block elements right next to each other. However, we can't do that properly because there's this added space in between the inline block elements which causes the last section, section four, to be pushed to the next row, which is what we don't want. So if you look at the index.php file, the reason why this happens is because a line break in HTML is considered uh, a, a space, so to speak. So when it, whenever you have a break, it would cause uh, a space between the elements. And there are several ways to get by this, but this is the way I use it, and it's pretty straightforward and simple. Basically, all you have to do is create a comment in between each element. Now, you don't have to put anything in the comment, such as, like, oh, this is a comment. You can just leave the comment um, tags by themselves. So what I'm saying, all I have to do is do this, and that will create a comment between the section one and section two inline block elements. This will then cause no space in between them. So if we save this page and reload the web page, it should eliminate that space in between section one and two, as you can see. So all we have to do is repeat this process for um, two more of the elements. So all we have to do is add comments in between this, these elements. And that should fix the issue. Actually, it doesn't. I need to add one more com comment on this section. And now it should fix the issue. Sorry about that. And now we have four inline block elements lined up perfectly within a container. And we know it's lined up perfectly because we don't see any of the blue on the page. And that's because I defined the container with a background of blue. There should be a semicolon right here. A uh, background of blue. So that solves you it, your issue of lining inline block elements right next to each other. So you simply put a comment in between the inline block elements to get rid of that extra space or that line break, so to speak. Um, there are many other ways to organize uh, elements in this order. There's ways of using a display flex. There's ways of using uh, an ordered unordered list. There's a, or there's this way, how to use inline block elements to do this. Or even using CSS float properties. Um, in the future, I'll probably go through each way of how to do that, because each, um, each way may have a different case that you need for your specific needs for your website. And I'll probably go over that in the future. But for now, this is how you solve that simple issue by using comments in HTML5. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, or if it helped you anyway, please like this video. Um, leave any comments of suggestions of what you want to see next, or any criticism that makes my videos better. So with that being said, I'll see you next time.